Good afternoon traders. It is Tuesday, June 16th, 2015 and the U.S. stock market is closed. I'm really late getting this video out tonight. I am late simply because I didn't want to do it. Um, you know, I have <laughs> I have a, a psychological and emotional reaction to markets sometimes and when that happens I don't like doing my videos and I think you know today is it, it's kind of interesting my my um, emotional reaction today because we really didn't have a terrible day we uh, closed out about seventeen hundred dollars negative in closed out trades and we're carrying um, uh, negative 2400 going into tomorrow clearly that is not a good day but it, it's not a terrible day at all we uh, if you're going to trade you're going to have days like that all the time but it's just I'm, I'm really um, getting worn down by this uh, these markets stocks that just don't want to go anywhere and uh, I, I, I'm not used to this and, and I, it's like it doesn't seem to matter what happens we just are kind of getting slowly ground down and I hate that feeling um, uh, we seem to be in the summer doldrums but uh, more than that we just aren't getting any traction here uh, I predicted that Dow would go up today it certainly did go up it went up 113 points but it really didn't seem to uh, affect the stocks we are trading. By the way, we're, we should start getting into our new stocks tomorrow. I don't know if that's going to help either. I really don't. But uh, we had no uh, signals today in our new stocks. I need to collect data for two days. and So tomorrow will be the first day on that. Anyway, you can see here from the chart uh, what happened. Uh, the Dow went up, uh, as they say, 113 points. It got up to our middle red line and kind of seemed to run into some resistance there. But this actually was a nice steady climb, and I would have expected on uh, with a pattern like this that we would get into... Um, quite a few trades and the majority of them would be profitable that just seems reasonable that's the way it usually goes and particularly since the overall market has been um, fairly depressed by by this big move down that didn't happen today we got into eight positions and uh, two of them are positive six are negative and we're holding negative open trade equity and that's what's bugging me I just don't see why that should be happening, but it is happening. So I'm I'm just kind of disgusted with this, and I I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll show you some of the stuff. I'm going to address. I normally don't show you big losing trades, but I'm going to. I had a I had email from um, somebody who. Uh, watches my videos and so I, I have some kind of loyalty to somebody and I, I, I want you to know that my comments here are not in any way disparaging of this person I I really uh, appreciate that he sought my advice and is interested uh, in what I might have to say about this and I want you to know I've been trading long enough <laughs> and I've been in so many jams myself and I've created my own problems so many times that no way am I um, talking down to this person. I am just uh, uh, want to answer his question about this. Uh, he apparently, this is Ed Vaxis, and uh, he apparently uh, started buying Ed Vaxis on this uh, big plunge today expecting you know reasonably that the thing was going to turn around and he was getting um, good prices by buying low and I will just say that you know I, I've been in this business a long time and I, I definitely decided a long time ago not to try and buy dips 
in the market. Not try to buy weakness in the market because you just don't know where it's going. And I had a very um, astute trading friend who had who has traded millions and millions of dollars who said buying um, a falling market is like buying like trying to catch daggers and this is a good uh, case in point why that is true um, I don't know what's happening here with the Vaxis but if I was bought, had bought this on the fall here and it ends up closing near its low today uh, tomorrow I'd be looking for any way I could to get out of this and just lick my wounds and say hey I made a mistake uh, that would be my best advice we were in Advaxis coming into today we had bought this yesterday on the pop it the pop failed uh, and we were out of this uh, 30 minutes into the day and we were out with a two thousand dollar loss um, that hurt too, but looking at this chart, this is why we get out of uh, falling markets. Uh, we don't hang on to this stuff because you just don't know what's going to happen. And uh, had we held on to this position, we would be, I'm just kind of eyeballing this, and I would say we would be down, you know, six, probably seven, even eight thousand dollars on it right now. And I'm happy to take our losses up here. And be done with it. Don't have to worry about it, Vaxis. So uh, my advice would be to tomorrow look for uh, a way to get out of this and just, you know, try not to repeat that mistake again. Buying, grabbing falling daggers is a mistake in in trading. Um, I'll show you a couple more trades. We had. this was the only halfway decent thing we had today but it's not much uh, we had a pop up here in um, NBIX I, uh, I think that's Neurocrine Biosciences and uh, we bought the pop <clears throat> by the way look you know we don't buy things on <clears throat> excuse me we don't buy things on the opening bars <coughs> oh excuse me uh, we don't buy things on the opening bars because the market uh, stocks are really volatile on those openings. And in this huge uh, first 15-minute bar, we just we just stayed away from that. We came in here and bought here, which is was actually a pretty nice entry on this. It did uh, close higher, and I think we're holding maybe uh, a few, you know, 700 bucks on that or something. But it nevertheless, it does look fairly stable there so that was absolutely the best thing we had today we didn't have anything better than that I will show you another uh, the best profitable trade uh, that we closed out here if I can find it let's see this is in uh, Inman sense I showed you this chart yesterday but even this was a little disappointing uh, we had bought this on Friday. It closed against us and we had this huge, uh, um, you know, uh, I called it in the post of Phoenix rising from the ashes here. Uh, really very nice uh, uh, trade and we came in today and we had a pop-up, you know. <laughs> but again, this thing just drives me crazy. We get to selling just when we're selling. We ended up selling fairly close to the low of the day down here we still took out two thousand dollars but we lost you know we gave up profits of about a thousand dollars in um, that uh, 40 you know say 30 minutes from these highs up here to when we get got out so that was a little disappointing but this was our best trade of the day in uh, in Vincennes and we made the uh, two thousand dollars in this anyway trader Bob's frustrated uh, I sure hope something happens with these uh, stocks by the way I'm gonna call I'm just gonna go out on a limb call it Dow uh, down hard tomorrow because I did something something gotta shake this something out of this market I don't know what it is 
uh, that's what I'm calling down hard tomorrow. We'll just have to see. I hope we don't get this creeping stuff. I want whatever it happens to happens tomorrow. I want it to be hard. I don't want any more creeping stuff. This is Trader Bob signing off. I'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday.